Hello, beautiful. I am here to share my experience with Dignitas and explain what I went through with them. And this video is especially for anyone that finds themselves in a state of absolute despair like I was in when I contacted Dignitas. If you're not at all familiar, Dignitas is an organization that facilitates physician-assisted suicide for their clients. I sustained a spinal cord injury in 2016. I am a C6, C7 incomplete quadriplegic now. And those first years were very, very hard. The first year, I wanted nothing but to die. And so I sought out a path in which I could do so through Dignitas in Switzerland. I contacted them the first time that I went to my new apartment and was told that I could still cook because the counters were low enough. And I just felt so frustrated and so upset over what I didn't have that I was failing to see what I still did have. And this led me on this path of pursuing assisted suicide. And it was a very dark path and I don't recommend it for anybody that is not facing a seriously debilitating degenerative ailment that will ultimately lead in death anyway. I do believe that Dignitas is one of the most humane things on this planet, that human beings can help others pass without being in a great deal of pain or going through a increasing brain issue that would lead to that person losing their faculties and ultimately dying. I should also mention that this kind of started, this idea of death started about three weeks after the injury when I finally saw my parents and I had a complete mental breakdown and I begged my dad over and over again to please have the strength in him to kill me if I didn't want to live anymore still after a long time, a long enough time of me being in this condition. He eventually promised that he would help me find that end if I needed it. But I didn't believe him. Dignitas was what I was holding on to that first year as this way out of my pain. I wanted to abandon all of my soul searching and my spiritual quest that I had been on so far in my life. I wanted to turn my back on God because of anger over the an injury. And I really wanted to turn my back on myself because I was so angry at myself for causing my own injury. I I'll, I'll give you a little outline of how exactly it, it was to work with Dignitas. First, we filled out the initial applica application. I filled out the initial application. There was a paper to write a letter that you can include to explain your situation and why you so desperately want to die. I tr did my best to explain my severe pain in this letter. I had a psychologist that was visiting once a week who was helping me with the paperwork for Dignitas. Thin Mint. I had a nurse, or I'm sorry, a psychologist helping me every week to try to apply for Dignitas. And I ultimately took like a 676 question true and false test to determine to determine my mental faculties and see if I was capable of making my own medical decisions. I did that and it was about probably eight months since I applied for the initial, around eight months since I applied for the initial with the initial application to Dignitas before I heard back from them saying that 
it wasn't the first time I heard back from them, but the time that I heard back from them that it was saying that we're sorry, we cannot accept your request. We cannot facilitate your request until there has been more time that has gone by in your injury. When I got that email, I was about a year into the injury and I bawled my eyes out in absolute frustration for a life I did not want to live. And then after that, I kind of calmed down a little bit. And I was at home in Florida rather than being back in Dubai with an ex-husband who was encouraging me to go to Switzerland. I was in America with my family who were not encouraging me to go to Switzerland and their love and time and care and prioritizing of me absolutely just healed me so much. And after that, I just never talked to Dignitas again until this video. Uh, Dignitas, if those of you working there are watching this video, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the service that you provide and for treating me with respect and making my feelings known to be valid in my exchanges with you. For anyone out there that is that thinks that they want to pursue the assisted suicide route, please know that you're not alone and that the pain you're in, it will change and convert and be better one day and you won't always be in a state of despair so long as you keep moving forward and you keep relying on God in Christ. So if anybody has any questions about this for me, leave them in the comments below. I usually don't get back to YouTube comments. Um, I do read them all, but I will make sure to answer the comments on this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. I, I love you so much, and I hope this video was helpful in some way or another. Lots of love to you, and thank you, Dignitas. Bye.